what's going on guys welcome back to the channel now today i have another video for you guys and it is my top three football boots slash soccer cleats in early 2024 now i'm gonna start off in third place and it's the one that just recently came out the nike phantom gx2 now i have used these for maybe what two three weeks now and you know they're just fantastic i just really like them they are pretty similar to the previous model, the GX1. There are a few changes like in terms of the shape and a little bit of texture. But for the most part, it's very similar to the GX1, which I really like. I'm glad that they didn't really change it all that much um, just because the GX1 was a really great boot. And the GX2 kind of follows that and still has like the same like uh, feel to it. So now the only difference with the GX2 is that the shape is a little bit like wider and has a little bit more volume in the midfoot. And in the toe box, the toe box itself is still a little narrow, but there is a little bit more volume. You guys can see it kind of raises up a little. And so these are just a little bit more comfortable, especially for those that have a bit of a wider foot. These will be more comfortable than the GX1. They just don't have like that super snug like fit that the GX1 had. And again, with the grip knit here, it's just very grippy. You know, it's a really unique sensation and it's a technology that actually works. Like it does, you know, grip the ball a lot. And the texture that they added, I really like. And you just kind of feel it just because the upper overall is a bit thinner. But yeah, it's a fantastic boot. Uh, it's very comfortable. You know, it performs pretty well. And, you know, I just really like it. There isn't really much that I would change in this boot. For me, it's a, overall just a great solid boot. And it sits in third place, which I know it's weird just because I'm saying so many positive things. But the other two just kind of beat it out just by a little bit. But yeah, super comfortable. Nike Phantom GX2. Now, in second place, I have these right here, the Adidas Predator 24 Elite. Now, these boots are also great. I just really like wearing them. I have been wearing them since they came out. And, you know, I've been switching between these and the Phantom GX2s. But, man, these are also great. The upper here is a Hybrid Touch upper. And, you know, it's pretty soft. It does have a little bit of padding to it just because, like, the Hybrid Touch naturally does have some padding to it. But it is a bit on the thinner side this time around. Which I kind of like just because it kind of gives it a more like like modern like feel to it. Um, obviously, we do get the grip elements here in the striking area of the foot. That do, you know, add a good amount of grip. I do notice it when I do like curl shot. It does spin a little bit more. Obviously, it's not going to make it easier to curl the ball. But it does add a little bit more spin. But obviously, no boot's going to make your shot any better. It just has a more of a unique feel when striking the ball. And I just really like that sensation when you just strike the ball and you feel these elements, especially since this time around the upper is a little bit thinner and the rubber elements kind of do raise off a little bit more. And because they're like more like closely together, they're a little bit thicker and they just you just feel it when striking the ball, which I'm a really big fan of. Obviously, the tongue just adds a little bit more of like a look to it, which I kind of love. The sole play itself is a really good change just because it kind of fits with the overall like feel of this boot it just makes it a little bit lighter and also just a little bit more like aggressive i feel like but overall the adidas predator 24 i think is a great boot you know performs well i had no issues with performance with this no slippage nothing and you know those rubber elements like always they feel really great provide a good amount of grip uh, just here in the strike area like nothing here in like where you're dribbling but yeah i've been enjoying wearing the adidas predator 24 elite and they sit in second place now in first place it's still this boot right here the mizuno alpha made in japan now this boot has been my top boot for like for a while now since they came out i just really love this boot and i know this might be a boring pick just because it isn't like anything new that has come out recently but it's still like a current model which is why it is in my number one spot now the mizuno alpha i just i just love it i don't know that's it basically it this boot does so many things right. For me, it's just how comfortable and how nicely like, it fits my foot. You know, it just feels like a customized fit. This boot is completely different from the Predator and the GX2. It's like thinner, it is lighter. And so it might be surprising that this is like my number one pick, but it's just that this boot is super comfortable. Like that's basically it. The upper is pretty soft. It does get softer as you play with them. They did feel a little bit plastic in the beginning. But since I have worn these a lot, you know, they're just, they're just super soft. I actually like the cage that is implemented here just because it is made out of like this foam material. And it just adds a little bit more padding. It kind of takes off the sting. Otherwise, it would just be a very, very thin upper. 
but this does a really good job of just taking off that sting. You guys can see here it's in the toe box, so when you're touching it with the toe box, there's a slight bit of padding there. Not a lot, but just a little bit, which I like. I really like this heel liner just because you guys can see it is this grippy material. It's also found in the insole here as well. I'll show you guys real quick. It is found here in this insole. The sole plate feels good, nice and snappy. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know that I'm not a really big fan of like a stiffer sole plate. Usually I like something that's a little bit more flexible, but honestly don't mind it in this model just because, I don't know, it just feels very solid and it goes obviously with the boot itself. But yeah, the Mizuna Alpha is my number one pick. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share my top three with you guys in early 2024. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite current boot in early 2024. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give a like. If you guys do want to know more about sock cleats, want to see more reviews, more play tests, make sure to subscribe. You know, I do all that stuff. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified for the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.